friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome if you are new. I'm Cheryl, this is Table Full of Joy, and I've got two super exciting recipes for you guys tonight. I have a recipe I watch um, in the kitchen with Mama Mel. She is absolutely amazing, has a special place in my heart. I love watching the things that she does. Last night she did a meatloaf and my husband looks at me and says, I want that for dinner. And so I said, all right, we're in pantry challenge, so let me see if I can scrounge up the ingredients to make it, because I'm not shopping. I'm trying to use up what I've got here in my kitchen in my freezer, in my pantries, and make use of what we've got. So super fun recipe. I will leave the link in the description box for the video where she makes this meatloaf, as well as the link to the recipe. It's called Mary's Meatloaf. Her sweet friend Mary made this meatloaf. It's her family's absolute favorite, most requested recipe that she makes. I'm excited to try this. I don't have just plain ground beef though, because as I said, we are in pantry challenge. So I have some Angus burgers. Yes, they have cheese. I think it's gonna be okay. They, there's four of them in here. This is what I pulled out of my freezer. I've got one bell pepper chopped up. We're gonna get the rest of our ingredients in this and we're gonna get it in the pan, get it in the oven. I've also got some leftover mashed potatoes from yesterday. We had some sweet friends over for lunch after church and we had mashed potatoes for lunch and I have those leftover, so I need to use those up. My husband asked for some potato cakes. He has not had those in forever. I don't think I've ever made potato cakes on my channel, so that's gonna be exciting to try a new recipe. Both of these are recipes new, new to me, so I'm excited to try both of them. So let's get this meatloaf done. He's gonna be home in about a half an hour. So before I get my hands completely messy, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my ingredients in here. What fascinated me about this recipe is it uses an ingredient for the thickener or the binder that I've never used before. And it uses oatmeal. And I just thought that was such a fascinating ingredient. So I don't have any onion, so I'm just gonna use some minced onion because that's what I've got available. As I said, I'm in pantry challenge, so I'm not grocery shopping um, unless I absolutely have to. So I am allowing myself uh, produce and um, you know dairy, that kind of stuff, but I was not gonna run to the store just to get onions when I can use those. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our binder. Her recipe calls for a quarter to a third of a cup. I don't think I have exactly a pound and a half of ground beef here. I think this is probably right at a pound. Uh, it's about a pound and a third. So we're, we're close. We're going to try that amount of uh, oats and we'll see how that work, how that looks. I may go ahead and add just a touch more if I need to, but I think this meatloaf is going to be fine using these burgers. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. It's just ground beef. So we're just going to break it up, put it in our bowl with the rest of our ingredients. We've got one more thing to add to this, and that is some tomato sauce. But I wanna get this meat in here and get it started to mix up, and then I will get my tomato sauce and get that in my pan. I think we'll go ahead and add our tomato sauce, and then we're just gonna mix this all up. I think this is gonna have enough fat in it that I don't need to add any grease or anything to my pan. I'm gonna make this in a really shallow skillet, or not skillet, a really shallow casserole dish because I want this to cook fairly quickly. I don't want to cook this, um, you know, really thick and have it take an hour to make. So she says a small can. This is a 16 ounce can. So I'm gonna put in just a little bit and we'll see where we're at when we get this mixed up. But this is all the ingredients, super simple but she says that it's the oats in this that just makes this meatloaf absolutely incredible. I wanna get this all mixed together because I am using burger patties. I wanna make sure I get them all broke up. She also calls for seasoned salt. I don't usually use seasoned salt, so I'm gonna just put some steak blend in here and that will be our salt and seasoning. I'm gonna put in just a little bit more of our oats and we should be good. This should be all we need. Like I said, I've never made a meatloaf with um, oatmeal in it before to act as the binder for it, but she says that it really just makes an incredible meatloaf. She also doesn't put the green peppers in hers. Her family's not fans of green peppers. My husband and I don't mind them, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. 
get all of this out of our bowl. We don't miss, want to miss any of this. All right, so we're just going to pat this out into our casserole dish. Make sure we get it as even as possible so that it cooks evenly. And we're gonna bake this at 350. And ours is not gonna take as long as a traditional meatloaf because like I said, it's very thin. So I'm gonna check this at about the 20, 25 minute mark. All right, friends, we need to get started on our potato cakes. Well, we're cooking some bacon back here that's gonna go in them. So we need to get our potato cakes ready to go so that we're gonna just probably just lightly wipe that pan out and use a little bit of that bacon grease to fry our potato cakes in because we've got it, why not? So let's get these mixed up real quick. So it says you want three cups of mashed potatoes. I think that's about what I have here. So I'm just gonna kind of rough measure. Yeah, I'm just gonna add it because I don't know what else I'm gonna do with these mashed potatoes. So we're just gonna make a whole batch. So I've got a two green onions. I'm gonna put in some garlic powder. doesn't call for this, but I'm going to put in a little bit of minced onion. I'm going to put in a little bit of salt. Got two tablespoons of melted butter. One egg. And we need one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And we're just gonna shred that directly into our bowl. As soon as our bacon's done, we're gonna add that to this. All I have is this squeeze sour cream, so we're gonna use it. Just drug my lid through my sour cream in the bowl. That, that's okay. This container is just about gone anyway. And let's get our flour put in. We need six tablespoons of all-purpose flour. It's one, two, three, four. five and six and yes I just sprayed flour all over my kitchen but that's okay <laughs> all right we're gonna mix this up our bacon is just about done we're gonna put that in here so that sour cream and that egg is what's going to help us mix all of this together kind of moisten our potatoes that hot bacon when we put that in here that's also going to help us get all of these things combined all right here's our bacon i love the smell of bacon Let's finish mixing these up. We're gonna get this all all this stuff combined in this bowl, and then we're gonna scoop these out. I'm we're obviously not going to taste this because it's raw, <laughs> but I think we've got it all mixed up pretty well. And I think we're ready to start scooping potato cakes. All right, friends, we're gonna start in on our potato cakes. I just left the little tiny bit of bacon grease that was in this pan from cooking our bacon in here. And just add a little bit of butter to it. We're just gonna freeform these into some beautiful little potato patties. 
gonna use my hands to kind of pat them out a little bit. We're just gonna put these right in our skillet. Get as many in there as we possibly can without overcrowding them because I wanna be able to get them out. <laughs> I don't wanna overcrowd my pan. These are gonna be incredible. They smell so, so good already. These were incredible mashed potatoes. Let's see how many more I can get in here. I think I can get one more. I just opened a can of green beans and put them in my pot over here on the stove with a little bit of butter and some dried minced onion and a little bit of our buttery steakhouse blend. We've got our potato cakes over here cooking. We've got our green beans heating up on the stove. Our meatloaf is in the oven cooking. Let's get our sauce made that goes on top of the meatloaf. Just before we serve it, we're gonna put it back in just so it can get nice and gooey and just amazing. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of our tomato sauce that we have left from making our meatloaf. We're gonna put in a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of yellow mustard. This is what was really interesting to me was the yellow mustard. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. And she said, you wanna taste this The recipe does not give exact measurements for this sauce. It just gives you the general ingredients to put together. All right, we're gonna start flipping over our potato cakes. These are looking incredible. Go ahead and give our sauce a taste. Oh wow, that is really different. I almost think it's good right there, but you know what, I'm gonna add a little garlic to it. The recipe doesn't call for it. But I really think it could benefit from just a little bit of garlic. I'm not gonna dirty up a whole bunch of utensils so we're just going to get a little off of our whisk oh okay that that is good i definitely like the addition of the garlic powder in there i think it really adds a little extra flavor to it it's good on its own but i love garlic so i just think adding that garlic to it just takes it over the top all right friends i just pulled the first one out of the skillet I want to give this a taste nice and crispy on both sides. It smells incredible. It's very, very hot. Mm. Wow, friends, I have not had potato cakes in forever. Why have I not been making these? <laughs> they are so good. We're going to finish cooking these and our meatloaf's going to be done soon. All right, friends, hubby just got home. I got distracted. I poured the sauce on the meatloaf. Let's get it spread on the meatloaf and get it back in the oven. This meatloaf smells really, really good. The brown sugar is gonna help it caramelize. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put our potato cakes in right next to it so that those can just kind of stay hot while the meatloaf caramelizes. We'll go ahead and get our green beans started. And dinner's gonna be ready in a minute. Friends, I just pulled everything out of the oven. Our meatloaf is done, potato cakes are done, green beans are hot. Turn the burner off, we're just gonna get this dished up. So I'm just gonna use my spatula. Wow, this is a really tender meatloaf. I probably could have used a tad bit more of the oatmeal, but I'm gonna give Hubby a little bit extra.
give him a couple of the potato cakes. He walked by these a second ago and seemed very excited about potato cakes. All right, friends, here is our Mary's meatloaf, potato cakes, green beans. It's gonna be a delicious dinner. I can't wait to go eat this. Thank you again so much, Mama Mel, for sharing this recipe that your sweet friend Mary made. I'm excited to go taste this. Cannot wait. I'm sure this is going to become a favorite in our house too. So friends, please go check out Mama Mel's channel and check out this meatloaf that she made. As I said, I probably could use just a little bit more of the oatmeal in mine. There goes heavy. <laughs> could, could use a little bit more of the oatmeal in here to hold it together a little bit more. But like I said, I was guessing on how much ground beef I had because I was using those burger patties since we're using things up in our pantry challenge. But still going to be delicious whether it stayed together or not. So Friends, thank you guys again so much for joining me in my kitchen, coming and hanging out with me, seeing what I'm cooking. You guys continue to inspire me to continue on with the pantry challenge with all the things that we have in our house, getting ready, getting ready to use all of those things up before next year. I would love to be able to go into, into January with our fridger, fridges, freezers, everything already ready to just be restocked for the new year. So that's my goal, work through the things that we have. So hope this inspires you guys to get in your kitchen, Look through your pantry, your cupboards, your fridge, your freezer, all those things and find some things that you guys can make for your family. It's going to be delicious. So again, friends, thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen. It means so much to me that you guys take time out of your day to come and spend time with me. I know your time is valuable and it means something to me that you take that time out of your day. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button up there. I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And friends, we'll talk to you guys in the comments. Have a great day and God bless.